Hi there, welcome back here guys. In last lecture we have talked about multiple generic parameters. In this lecture we'll be working again on inferring. I would like to show you some specific example how you can use inferring. That's actually will be very good use case. And after that, finally, we'll start working on our Next.js e-commerce project. So finally. Okay, so in our playground.ts we can remove, we can remove type logger in interface person. We don't need it for this example. Okay, and I will remove also this. Okay. Up here, I will create a new function. Actually, I can create it also inside of the play. Doesn't really matter. So let's create here a new function. All right, we'll call this function get hello props. It really doesn't matter what this function will do, but get hello props will give me just some properties. Okay, it will return me some object with some properties. Okay, so get hello props. Okay, I'll write it as a function. Okay, and this function returns some properties. So I'll write here return object. I'll write and return object of props. Okay, that doesn't really matter what I will return here. But let's say I will specifically return here some data of the cars and also will return here a greeting. Okay, so I'll return here some greeting. A greeting will have specific format. So I'll write here, let's say up here, I'll write here a new type. A greeting type. All right, and greeting type will have a message, message of a string. Okay, my new type, and this type I will return here, but first I need to create a variable, okay, so I need to provide some actual data, so let's write here const greeting equal object, a message, and uh, hi friends. Hi friends, and I will say here explicitly greeting will be type of the greeting. Okay, like this, greeting here. And from the props, I will provide a greeting here. So I'll return from a props greeting and also I'll provide here some additional data. So let's write here data. Doesn't really matter. Can be anything. It'll be cars and it'll be array of the cars. So car one, car, car two. Okay, so when you will hover over this function, you will see the function, the return type is a props object with a prop property props and a greeting and a date. Okay, so that's a get hello props. That's that's what is the return type. Very interesting thing I didn't mention you before when you will mar mark your function as an async function, automatically you're returning promise from this function. So when you write your async, and you will hover over automatically, data you are returning will be wrapped into, into promise. So when you want to retrieve them, you need to use await keyword or you need to provided then, okay? So that's especially you will use asyncs when you're working with the requests or when you're opening the files. So when you want to something happen asynchronously. Okay, I can show you like as an example here. Okay, we'll be talking about inferring very shortly. But if I want to get the data from this, I can write here const data. And I write here get hello props. This will not get me data. And what I need to do here, I need to either write here then, then block. And in the then block, I will get my data back. So I write here data. And here I will activate the data in the then block. Or much simpler, I can use await keyword. So I can write here await and get hello props. And this will get me my data. You can see we are seeing here error because when you want to use await keyword, your wrapper function needs to provide also async keyword. So when you will go up here, your function play needs to define async and there you can use await then. Okay, so when I write here debugger, let's write here debugger, save it. Let's go back to our browsers. Oh, okay, something about Ethereum. Interesting. Okay, I want to go here. Let's go to localhost. Localhost 3000. All right, then <laughs> let's return here. Let's uh, see here development tools, console. Let's refresh and you should get into the console, uh, into your code. And you can see your data is the props we expecting to receive data greeting and so on. So you can do it with the await keyword. All right, so uh, let's get back here. That was just uh, to show you when you are wrapping in an async, you're returning promise and you want to retrieve a data await or you need to change a then block. All right, so uh, what I want to do now, I want, I want to show a completely different example, okay? So I want to infer arguments in other function. Okay, let's imagine, let's let's imagine one function. I will define here this function. This will be much better, okay? So let's write here a function. And this function will be called say hello. It doesn't really matter how this function is called. It, it's not really important here. It just, I want to create a function that's, yeah, that will be, that will do something, okay? 
for example, it will say hello. Okay, doesn't really matter what we get here. I already have console log, and uh, let's write here hello world. Doesn't really matter. But what will be special about this function is that the say hello as the arguments here. But I will define here arguments as the arguments here. I will I will want to expect to get here a return type of my get hello props. So my type here describing the args here, these arguments here, should be data itself we are returning from here. So this argument should have a shape of the props, greeting, data, cars. So when I will access here args, I would like to access here props, dot props, I would like to access here a greeting, and so on, okay? So, so far I don't, it's, it's implicitly it's any, okay? I, I could write here any, and this would get rid of me uh, this error, and I could pass here this return type of this uh, of these props, and this would work. But I would like to specify here that arguments in the say hello will be the return type of get hello props. So how we can do it? This can be a little bit maybe harder to understand, but let's try to let's try to implement this. Okay, so this type I will define up here. We'll define it as a type. Okay, so type. Okay, and we'll call it infer hello props and basically we can infer any function we want but in this case i will be inferring hello props okay it will be typed which will be responsible to infer to get this return type from this function and provide it here okay we'll call it type infer hello props it will accept the generic type okay so we'll define here generic type t and i will say here if i will define here this generic type t i want to be this type function okay so i will write here t extends function that is returning promise, all right? It's returning promise, especially defining the props. Okay, so infer hello props. It should, as a type here, I will be passing the function, which this function will be extending the function that's returning promise, and this promise is returning props, so same as we are defining here. So it's returning promise with the props. Okay, so right here, this. What should be written from here should be props. So let's write here in a square, in a pointy brackets, like let's write a curly brackets. Let's define here, we like to write from here props, where the props will be of not specific type, but this will be inferring. Whatever will be defined here or in the other function, we would like to infer. So we need to provide here new placeholder, placeholder let's say, uh, let's say S, it doesn't really matter. So when we are using here a new placeholder, we need to write here infer. All right, let's write here now question mark. In that case, I would like to return S. In other case, I would like to return here never. All right, guys, so infer hello props. We'll see how it will work, okay? First, I think it will be uh, better to show an example work. Actually, we can call it infer, infer, we can also call it as a prop. Okay, we can also infer props, and we can return here props. Maybe that will be even more understandable. So that's I won't call it uh, any any capital letter, but I will actually provide here this word. Okay, let's see for an example, and after that we can talk about it. Okay, so I will specify here now argument will be type of which will be inferring. So infer hello props. Where will provide the type of our function here. So this. That type of this function, which is currently function that returns promise, returning props, will be passed as the T here. Okay, so type of this will be, we will learn before we can use type of keyword, will be get hello props. And therefore, here now, I can access here my arguments, and my arguments will behave as a props. Okay, so I, I should uh, actually remain it as a props, and here I will be accessing straight away props and uh, creating. So now you can see now I can, I can access props creating, I can access props.data.cars, props.greeting, and, and so on, and everything uh, will work. So one more time, guys. Okay, so as my type for the props, I'm writing here type will be infer hello props. And the generic type we will passing here will be type of get hello props, which is a type you can see here is the function that returns promise of the props. Okay, when it will get to the infer hello props, this type will be get passed here, and we are checking if this types extend function that return promise of the props. 
And of course, yeah, it's returning prom uh, it's returning promise of the props because that's this type here. We are returning promise of the props. Our function is returning promise of the props. So this con this condition is satisfied, all right? And we are returning props itself. We are returning this type of the props. So we we can imagine we are returning this type. Oops. We are returning this type if self here. This return here, the props. Okay, so this is written from here. So the type of the props we are getting here will be this structure down here and we can access here props creating and so on. All right, so that's that's how it works. And uh, of course I can also call this function, say hello. All right, then I will provide as the parameter the return of get hello props. So I will call it here get hello props or I can separate it into two lines. I can write here props or const props const props equal get, okay, that's a little bit annoying, get hello props, and here, of course, you need to use await because it's asynchronous, and you can pass here, say hello props, props, and everything will be working just great. Okay, uh, here is one issue, when we are not, we are specifying get, get hello props, uh, this, this props, oh, actually, all good, all good. Uh, I was uh, confused for a little bit. What we are getting here, I should ra rather uh, I should rather call it data, okay? Because there is this object here, and on this data we can access props. So what we can do, we can just access here data dot props, and everything is working as it as it should be. Alright, guys. So that's how you can infer how you can infer your return type of the function. You can provide it as the argument type for your other function. And this is especially used in Next.js, you will see when you're when you're working with a get static props functions. And these lectures are already quite long, so I suggest you maybe to remove it and try to create by yourself. Just look at it one more time, try to create by yourself. And in next lecture, finally, we'll start working on our Next.js project. So that will be very exciting and I hope to see you in the in the next one. Cheers.